the plague struck Yucatan in 1571. One man discovered a plant and drank it with other individuals. The toxin turned the people blue and rendered them unable to breathe in air. They swiftly moved to the ocean and established Talakang, a civilization in the deep sea. K.U.K. Olkin was born to one of the ladies who ingested the plant. The child grew up to become Talakang's ruler. When Fen died, she wished to be buried on the property. K.U.K. Olkin led some guards up to the region where he discovered a civilization. They attacked civilization to create way for his mother's funeral. One of the villagers dubbed him Namer, which translates to the boy without love. Shuri works hard in her lab, attempting to build an artificial heart-shaped herb for her dying brother and Wakanda's king, T'Challa. Ramonda enters the lab gently, announcing the king's death. Wakanda is still having problems with other nations demanding their vibranium a year later. The Dorum Mileage apprehend French military personnel attempting to steal from their outpost. Later, Ramonda addresses the United Nations and discloses the French attempt to steal. She informs the countries that even though the Black Panther is no longer present, they will continue to fight. Americans mine in the ocean at a mining outpost using a vibranium detector invented by an MIT student, Ryrie Williams. This is used to locate vibranium in the ocean. They are suddenly attacked by Talaconals, who do not want them stealing their vibranium. Namor shoots down the only remaining survivor chopper. Ramonda and Shuri travel to the water to grieve the year after T'Challa's death. Despite Shuri's lack of preparation, they burn their funeral robes to mark the end of the mourning period. Namor then arrives, crossing the boundary by swimming under the water. He tells them about Talakang and asks for their assistance in stopping outsiders from stealing Vibranium. He also explains that Vibranium is not only found in Wakanda but also in Talakang. Ramonda reprimands him, concerned about his presence. He tells them he's going to kill the scientist who created the machine and that they can help him, but they can't stand in his way. Shuri and Okoy travel to meet Everett Ross who provides them the name and location of the young scientist despite the fact that he may have given up sensitive information. Okoy and Shuri then travel to Cambridge, Massachusetts in search of Williams. They pursue her to her garage, where she reveals that she is developing Iron Man-style armor. They are, however, being watched by the FBI. Okoy escapes in her car, Shuri on her motorcycle, and Williams in her armor. They are unexpectedly met by Talaconals, Atuma, and Namora. Shuri and Williams are caught after a brief skirmish. The next day, Ross arrives and meets with his ex-wife, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. He also discovers and conceals Kamoyo beads. In Wakanda, an enraged Queen Ramonda chastises Okoy for losing Shuri, which is aggravated by past occurrences such as when she appeared to join with Killmonger when he took the throne and fires her as general. In Talakang, Shuri and Williams awaken. Namor demonstrates the civilization to Shuri, attempting to persuade her of his values and even handing her his mother's bracelet. However, she is opposed to killing Williams. Meanwhile, Ramonda travels to Haiti to visit Nokia, who departed Wakanda six years ago. She requests that Nokia locate Shuri for her. Nokia conducts some snooping and discovers the place. She then separates Williams and Shuri while Ramonda discusses Namor's plan with him. They return to Wakanda, only to be tormented again when Namor and his people invade. They flood the city, resulting in an all-out conflict. Namor destroys all Wakandan vehicles before flooding the throne room with Ramonda and Williams. Ramonda swims to save Williams when she begins to drown. She is able to save Williams, but she drowns in the process. Shuri laments her mother's death when Namor informs her that she is now queen. Then he and his people flee the nation. Meanwhile, Allegra de Fontaine discovers that Ross has been talking with Wakanda the entire time and arrests him. M'Baku approaches Shuri after the burial and makes the moral decision that she should not kill Namor. He then informs her that he would offer homes for the displaced Wakandans as a result of the invasion. Shuri then creates the artificial heart-shaped plant with Namor's mother's bracelet, which ultimately works. After taking it, she journeys to the astral plane and is greeted by Eric Killmonger, 
who believes they are the same. They debate briefly before Shuri declares that she will murder Neymar for vengeance. Shuri gets out of bed and puts on a suit. She then appears as the Black Panther at a meeting between M'Baku and the elders. In preparation for the conflict, Shuri and Williams determine they may weaken Neymar by heating his body to the point where it can no longer get oxygen. They then create a second set of Ironheart armor. Shuri gives Okoi new armor, called the Midnight Angels, that functions similarly to Iron Man's. Okoi enlists Inika to join her two-woman crew. They deploy a vessel in the ocean to draw the Talakonals into a trap. Neymar appears to have the upper hand as the combat begins. However, Black Panther captures him aboard a Royal Talon fighter as they flee the conflict. Meanwhile, the Dorum Milage combat the Talakonals on the ship's side, while the Jabari tribe, Nakia, and others fight the ones. Neymar is weakened when the Black Panther heats up the Royal Talon fighter, but he begins to break free with his spear. Black Panther fires a blast from her Vibranium gauntlets, causing the entire ship to explode, dropping the two enemies down the island below. The two continue to fight until Neymar impales Shuri. Instead of killing her, he is more concerned with getting to the water before he dies. An injured Black Panther breaks away and runs in front of Neymar, who is hobbling. She then exclaims Wakanda forever, as she armors up blasting Neymar with a blast from the exploding Talon fighter. As he collapses, he is set on fire. She looms over him, ready to kill him, when she remembers her brother, T'Challa. Neymar expresses appreciation to the Black Panther and joins her in returning to the conflict scene and ordering everyone to cease fighting. The Black Panther then cries Wakanda forever once more, which the rest of the cast repeats. Williams returns to MIT without her armor because the Wakandans do not want any issue with allowing her to keep it. Shuri flees to Haiti rather than contest the throne, which is eventually challenged by M'Baku. Neymar later paints in his chamber while Atuma greets him. Neymar assures her that their new partnership with Wakanda will benefit them both. Okoy escapes from detention on his route to prison. Shuri visits Nakia in Haiti before departing for the beach where she burns her funeral ceremonial robe, allowing her to truly weep. Shuri learns in a mid-credits sequence that Nakia and T'Challa have a son, Toussaint, whom Nakia has been raising in secret away from the pressures of the monarchy. Toussaint admits T'Challa is his Wakandan name. <laughs>